welcome back to our class. So, um, for Tom 6, we're studying about nutrition and digestion. We already finished about the different types of nutrients. We already finished about how are we going to have a balanced diet. Last week, we studied about BMI. So for today, we're going to review BMI and then we're going to study about food additives, okay? Okay, last week, we studied about BMI. So just a review. Um, if your BMI falls below 18.5, then you are underweight. When you are underweight, it means that you are eating less and you might have problems as well, okay? Um, if your BMI is 18.5 to 24.9, then your weight is normal, okay? It means that you're healthy. And then if your BMI is 25 to 29.9, it means that you are overweight. And if it's 29.9 and above, it means that you are obese, okay? So if you are overweight and obese, as we have discussed last week, um, you are most likely to have health problems or heart problems when you grow older, okay? Um, this is the formula of how to compute BMI. Last week, I sh I've shown you videos about how to compute your own BMI, okay? So it's your mass in kilograms divided by your height, multiplied by your height in meters, okay? And I hope you understood about how to get your own BMI and how to compute BMI, okay? So for today, we're going to continue our lesson. Oh, last week I asked you to answer this one, right? Okay, so for today, we're going to study about what are food additives, okay? What are food additives? From the word add, you add to food, okay? So we have different types of food additives, okay? We have food colorings, food flavorings, and preservatives, okay? We have, uh, in our book, we're going to study three types of food additives, food colorings, food flavorings, and preservatives, okay? So, uh, in here, we can read, other than nutrients, food also contains additives, okay? Besides the nutrients, when we eat food, sometimes the food that we eat contains additives, okay? So, these are substances added to make food look or taste better, okay? So, these are substances or usually chemicals that we add to make the food look better or appealing and make it taste better, okay? And also preservatives, we add it to prevent the food from going bad or from uh, rotting, okay? So let's start with food colorings, okay? Food colorings are chemicals that can be found in candies and jellies, okay? So if you're going to look at this, most of kids, most of children like to eat this one. This, I think, is M&M's, okay? Or Skittles, okay? So the food color, they, they put coloring, artificial. It's not real. It's from chemicals, okay? To make the food more appealing. So it's... It's, it looks yummier, okay? If it's only one color, then it's not, like, not appealing to eat, okay? We also have food flavorings, okay? Food flavorings are added to make food taste better. One example of food flavoring is monosodium glutamate or MSG, okay? Monosodium glutamate or MSG. These are found in instant noodles and gives a salty taste, okay? So when you eat um, junk foods like chips, lays, and those instant noodles, they put MSG, they put artificial flavorings, okay? So they make the food taste better okay another one is an example of a uh, food flavoring is aspartame this is a chemical no that can be found in most soft drinks soft soft drinks or sodas okay pepsi coke uh, 
So they add aspartame. So what is our aspartame? It's a chemical that makes uh, it that tastes 200 times sweeter than sugar. Imagine that. It's 200 times sweeter than sugar. So regular sugar compared to aspartame. So when you when you drink uh, sodas, it's so sweet right it makes you feel like oh it's so yummy it's so delicious so refreshing okay but they are not good okay and another one is preservative so we already studied about food uh, colorings food flavorings and preservatives okay preservatives um we need it to make the shelf life of the food longer okay so because sometimes food will not last long okay so we have to we have to make a way that we can keep them longer okay so after food is stored for some time it starts to rot and becomes unsafe to eat okay so if you just buy vegetables or fruits for examples and it will not last for a long time but if we preserve the food for example fruits if you dry the fruits if you make dried fruits from grapes you make raisins and then these raisins can be stored for a longer time okay so this uh this we do to prevent the food from rotting okay um in here in our book it says this is because bacteria and fungi start to grow and live on it okay so we cannot keep the fruits forever bacteria and fungi will uh, start to grow on them okay so they add preservatives to prevent the bacteria and the fungi from growing okay so there are two types of preservatives okay we have natural and chemical okay natural preservatives and chemical preservatives so an example of a natural preservative is salt okay salt um it can preserve large amount of meat one example is when we dry fish okay when you buy in the market dried fish okay so they usually put salt on it that's why it's salty okay but it makes the fish uh, be kept longer we can keep the fish longer you know that the fish if you buy from the market and you don't put in your freezer you let it outside after one day it will be rotten right so to preserve the food to preserve the fish what we usually do in the natural way is we dry the fish and we usually add salt okay that's why when if we buy dried fish in the markets it's salty okay so this is a natural preservative okay sugar also is a natural pres preservative okay um but there are chemical preservatives okay so for dioxide and nitrites are examples of uh, chemical preservatives so sulfur dioxide is used as a preservative in dried fruits okay so dried fruits when they preserve this when you buy dried fruits in the market unfortunately they put chemicals okay so an example of that chemical is sulfur dioxide okay and then when they cure meat to make sausages and ham they put nitrites okay nitrite is another chemical preservative uh, okay so in here it's very important taking too much food additives can harm our body so we should avoid foods that have preservatives instead we should eat fresh food okay so if you eat too much food that has preservatives that has um, food flavorings or food colorings especially the chemical ones they can harm your body okay because the chemicals build up in your system okay and they can harm your body so what we should try to avoid we should try to avoid eating a lot of them if we, we can and then eat fresh foods okay fresh foods fresh fruits fresh vegetables and you just buy enough meat 
no need to stock on sausages and ham okay if you can okay and much better try okay it's healthier for you okay now um let's answer this one let's try to answer you are going to match aspartame salt and sulfur dioxide aspartame if you can remember it makes what's the answer it makes food sweet okay it is 200 times sweeter than sugar okay and then salt salt it is a natural preservative okay it's, it's from nature and it can uh, make the food last longer and then sulfur dioxide this is a chemical preservative added in dried fruits okay so we will go to your workbook you will answer your workbook page three and four okay okay so in your workbook page two actually this one started on page two um the table below shows what yada and ying had for lunch so this is yada's lunch and this is ying's lunch okay yada had a bowl of french fries piece of fried chicken piece of fried fish and a can of cola ying on the other hand had had a bowl of rice, boiled carrots and spinach, and a cup of apple juice, okay? So, you have to answer this one on page 3, okay? So, letter A, Yada's lunch does not provide him enough nutrient. Which group of nutrients is lacking in his lunch, okay? What's lacking? What is missing? And letter B, name one of function, one function of the nutrients mentioned in a so what is what is your answer in a you have to write the function in b and then let us see which group of nutrients is lacking in ying's lunch and then you look at ying's lunch what are the nutrients missing what is she not eating and then you name the function of what's your answer in letter c okay and then you answer number two it's still on page three uh you answer the bmi of them and then you write the weight category you write if it if he or she is underweight or normal or obese or overweight okay and then page four it's about food additives and preservatives you fill in the blanks okay most soft drinks contain blank which is a food flavoring And then number two, food blank give canned goods their colors. And then number three, dried fruits are able to last a long time without going bad. This is because blank such as sulfur dioxide are added to dried fruits. Okay, so you just fill in the blanks. What are the missing words? Okay, um, this is the end for today. Um, see you again next time. Bye.